Hey guys, Dana with Spun Paradise Cotton Candy here today. Super excited to share with you guys today on how to make cotton candy glitter bombs. They are basically these fun little puffs of cotton candy with glitter in the middle and you drop them into your drinks and it makes your drink magical. Who doesn't want that? So super excited, super simple. So let's get started. Uh, I have today some of our lemon cotton candy that I made a little bit ago. Uh, that's made from the lemon sugar floss that we make. Organic, clean, tasty, no dyes, no artificial flavor. I also, this is our strawberry sugar cotton candy, I guess at this point. And for this one, obviously it's not pink. Um, I added activated charcoal to it before I spun the cotton candy to give it that nice little gray Halloween-y color. This just makes super fun color for the drink for Halloween time or if there was another event that you wanted that darker color for. I also have uh, Disco Dust today as my glitter. This is edible, non-toxic. So need a little stir. I'm going to show you guys how to do it in plain water today and then carbonated water as well. That way you can see how it would react in both a non-carbonated drink and a carbonated drink as well. All right, so let's get started. So I'm just going to take some of my cotton candy and some people sell the cotton candy glitter bombs. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you if you're looking to package them yourselves and sell them. Super cute little cup here. Just put some cotton candy in there. I am literally just going to shake one shake inside. It's not a lot and it's hard to see, but I'm gonna keep that there. We're gonna fold our cotton candy over. If you're packaging these to, to resell, just gonna put the lid on it and it's ready to go. We're going to take these back out in just a minute so that you can see the, the shape that they have taken. Um, once again, I'm just gonna do it again with one more lemon. If your cotton candy is warm, you're making them fresh, this cotton candy I've had out for a little bit, I made it a bit ago, then it will mold a lot nicer and quicker and easier into the container, but using cotton candy like this is fine as well. And then just going to Put some glitter in there, fold it over, and put on its lid, and it will be good to go. Okay, and I'm going to do the same with one of these guys. So, again, this color, activated charcoal, if anyone missed that. I'm just going to put that in the container, give it a shake. Fold over the cotton candy and a lid. Okay. All right, so the activated charcoal one, I'm just gonna show you guys here, put a little bit of glitter in there. This one I'm not gonna put in a container just to kind of show you guys how to do it without if you're just making them for at home and not trying to sell them. And then you would just fold it over like that and it's ready to go, a cute little puff. This one, I probably would add a little bit more to honestly like maybe a double wrap and you're good to go. So that's how to make them. So if you are selling them and putting them like on a website for sale or something like that, you definitely are going to want the Mylar bag to drop these little guys in and it would be super simple, maybe like a six pack of them, seal it up, heat seal the top, and ready to go for shipping. The Mylar bag, definitely I would recommend. These containers are not um, super tight of a seal. That cotton candy is gonna shrink in there. So you need that extra barrier with the Mylar bag to keep them nice and fresh and ready. So let's see some magic, shall we? Okay, so we'll do the lemon one. Just wanna show you guys how it pops out and it's just a cute little shape perfect for dropping in and just going to drop that in. You can kind of see the glitter, just little puffs burst. It's so fun. And then just stir it around. You can kind of, you can see it spinning in there. It's so pretty, so yummy. I'm going to bring in our carbonated water and drop this one in. See all the glitter bursting on top, it's so fun. And I'm just going to stir that. 
I've noticed with the carbonated water that the glitter likes to stay more on the top, I think in the carbonation. So it does have a little bit different of a look than using a non-carbonated drink. But so pretty, so nice and dark for like a Halloween drink. I love it. And you have a fun little magical gray drink. <laughs> so both are super fun options. I love the way that it looks when it drops into the carbonated water. It's just super fun. I think that the glitter disperses better in non-carbonated drinks. This one will have a little bit of a lemon flavor to it from the cotton candy as well, which is kind of fun. So keep that in mind with whatever cotton candy flavor you choose to make and use for your drinks and what drink you're putting it in. Hope this was helpful and that everyone can go make their drinks a little bit more magical. Cheers.